Now we will begin with the part one, the MCQ part of the end of term exam. Please note in this part, I will do the direct and the shortest method possible. For the detailed method, please refer to the lesson explanations on the playlist. In these videos, I will try to do the shortest method possible. The question one is to know the precise definitions of circles and to find the radius, diameter and circumference. Here we have been told to refer the circle and from the question 4 to 8, the circle. And we need to tell few basic details of them. What is the circle? Name of the circle, it's circle 0. Radii are lines generating, originating from the center to the end of the circle. So it is OC, OD, OA, OB. And the chords, chords are any line on a circle which has its end points on the circle. Say for example, AB, both the endpoints are on the circle, CD, not OA, radiuses can't be, diam uh, I mean, chords, but the diameter can be chords. So here are the answers. Now, this is the symbol of circle. You put a circle and a dot, it means this circle and specifying that means this is the center of the circle. You can try this by yourselves, pause the video and just try it out. The name of the circle is circle P over here and then we have the radii is P, A, P, B, P, C and the chords would be D, A, B and the diameter would be only A, B and lastly name the radius not drawn as a part of diameter. See now this radius P, A and P, B are the diameters are a part of diameter whereas P, C is not a part of the diameter. Here they have given us the dimensions of A, B in this particular circle, circle R. AB is known that's 18 millimeters. What is the dimension of AR? AR is its radius. So the AB would be the diameter, the total length that is given. So half of that would be AR, that would be 9 and this would be 9. So you can just do 18 by 2 equals 9 or just looking at this figure you can directly write the answer because this is MCQ part, you don't need to do any detailed method. If Ry is equal to 10 inches, they have told Ry, this one, the radius, what is AR and AB? The first one over here, AR is the radius, they both are equal, so it will be 10. What about its, uh, this is the radius, the diameter will be multiplied by 2, so it will be 20 here. That's how we solve it up. And this, these are the answers. Here... AB is 20, but you should also find AR, which is 10. Now, AB is congruent to XY. Let's see, AB and XY, yes, they are congruent. That means they're equal. Why? Because they're diameters, right? Diameters of all these circles. Sorry, a particular circles, diameters, all its diameters are equal, okay? All diameters of the same circle are congruent or equal. Now, suppose the radius of the circle is... 3.5 yards, okay, find its diameter, just multiply this by 2, 3.5 times 2 is 7, that would be the answer, just multiplying by 2. Now if RT, look over here, the diameter RT from year to year is given 19, what is LW? The RT passes through the center, so it's the diameter, LW passes through the center to end of the circle, to any part of the circle, so it's a radius. So just divide D by 2, you will get radius. 19 by 2 is the answer. Look into your options. You might have the option of 19 by 2 itself, 19 by 2 meters. Otherwise, you need to write 9.5. When you put in the calculator and ST, it will be 9.5. Sometimes your options, right, will be in terms of fractions. So just be careful with that. And over here, we have got LT is 4.2 inches. The radius is given. What's the diameter? Multiply this by 2. It's 8.4. That's it. Very straightforward problems, this one. Now we have a real life situation. A bicycle has tires with a diameter of 26 inches. Okay. Find the radius and circumference of each tire. So they have given the diameter equals 26. First find. They have told the radius so just find the radius that is d by 2 that's 13 directly and now you can find the circumference circumference is given by 2 pi r or you can use the formula pi times diameter any any one of your choice 
I would go with pi d because two times r, you, instead of doing an extra step, you can directly do pi d. It will be 26 times pi. That's the answer. Now here they have told nearest 100. You need to round it off. So use your calculators here. You will get pi if you press shift and over here, multiplication of 10 times power, right? The symbol. And then if you press equal to, you will get the same thing. But just press SD, you will get it. And now nearest 100. 100 has two zeros, isn't it? So one, two, two decimal points, six, eight. So you should write 81.68. That's the answer. And that's the end of this lesson. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comments. I'm sure this is one of the easiest topic. You won't have any doubts. I will see you in the next video.